hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a look by the title um i don't know what i'm going to title this yet but yeah this is a look that i'm doing a collaboration with with another instagram friend of mine called katie beauty um i'm going to link the links down below if you want to check this out her look out and our look side by side we're both using this same palette the challenge was to see what look we could recreate um using the revolution pro trends mischief palette which looks like like this um, I've got about maybe four or five palettes uh, from the Revolution Pro when this came out and last week I did this beautiful sort of green look um, from the Celestial palette um, that was really really nice um, again stepping out of my box normally I would do the smoky eye everyday look I do like that the simple look but you know stepping out of my box a little bit um, and doing something like this is completely different um i'm not the best at cut creases or halo eye but i do like them whenever i watch them on other people or see them done on other people or other people do it i think oh my god that looks so good and i just want to try it out so i do practice and practice does make perfect um yeah so if you want to sort of see how i did this look or created this look then please just do keep on watching and yeah i'll see you on the other side in a minute okay well <laughs> so we're just going to jump straight into it i'm going to do this eye together um i've already concealed my eye base and i've used my tart shape tape in the shade tan and i'm just going to set that a little bit with the first shade called attached that's the first shade that i went in with and i'm just buffing that into my crease then we're going to get a more uh, tapered brush and we are going to go in with the shade Daydream. Next we're going to go into the shade Half Time. Just cleaning my brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Ricochet. I'm going to clean my brush off again, and we're going to go in with the shade Haunted. I'm now going to take, I'm now going to carve out the my halo with a Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in shade C10. I'm just going to pop a little bit at the back of my hand. let me know in the comment box now we're going to go with the yellow shade and it's called new day and I'm just gonna pat that in in the center of my lid
Now I'm going to get my tapered brush first one and we're going to go in with Daydream And I'm gonna get my real technique brush again, tapered one, clean it off, and I'm gonna go in with ricochet. So I'm just going to take a more tapered brush, back to the black brush, and I'm going to dip into Cursed and Ricochet and just diffuse that top line a little bit. Right, I'm going to go off camera, finish off the eyes, and then we're going to come back and I'm just going to neaten this up, tidy up, make sure it looks the same, and then I'll be back and then we're going to do the full face together. Now that I've finished off the eyes, we're going to move on to the face. I did finish off the eyes by adding um, eyeliner to my eye because I felt like the eye really needed that, so I did that and then I put on my uh, eyelashes from Primark and this is the uh, Deluxe Foam Minx Lashes from Primark and I think it's £4 so I love these lashes they look very fluttery um, they bring drama to the eyes and yeah I just felt like and you can see the eye look through the eyelashes which is really nice then I went ahead and primed my face already with my mattifying moisturizer fluids by Kiko which is this one and I've also blurred out my pores here just a little bit with my baby skin instant pore eraser by Maybelline I really love this stuff it's very very good um, now we're just going to finish off the face and I'm today I'm going to be using my uh, Revolution Pro foundation drops in the shade F13 and we're just going to finish up the face
So next thing we're going to do is that we are going to conceal underneath the eye and I do, we're going to contour first I think and I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty in the shade Truffle. Um, don't often use, uh, I don't often contour but yeah we're going to contour today because Now that we've contoured, now that we've contoured, I'm going to, now that we've contoured, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty uh, concealer in the shade Caramel. Um, again, don't often use this, but we're going all out today. And I'm just going to warm that up a little bit at the back of my hand, because I find it does help, otherwise it just drags. Now that I've contoured and I've highlighted, I'm going to go in and set everything with my loose setting powder by Translucent. I'm going to set everything with my loose setting powder by Laura Mercier and we're just going to set everything in place and lock it down. Lock it down. Now that we set everything, we're gonna go in and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with my Black Up Two Way Cake in the shade TW12. Um, I love this powder, it's very gorgeous and keeps me matte all day. It's just perfect. And I'm starting to hit pan on it, that's how much I use it. Um, I use it every day. Now that I've powdered down my face, I'm now going to go in with my giant bronzer in dark, Sunkiss, and that is what we're going to use to bronze my face. So now that we've contoured, next thing is to highlight and I'm going to go in with my PS Gold Digger Highlighter. Um, it doesn't have a shade in it, but it's £2.50. It looks like this and the shade is absolutely beautiful. It's a champagne-y gold. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw this all over my face.
So last but not least, now that I've highlighted, I'm going to go in with my blush. Now I have two blushes to pick from. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go with. We have the Sleek Blushes. Um, we have the shade Flushed uh, uh, 932 and we have the shade Flamingo Flushed. Uh, so this is what the packaging looks like. And inside is this shade. And then we have the Flamingo and that's the shade of Flamingo. And I'm feeling like mixing the two. Yeah, we're gonna go with both of them, I think. And we're gonna start off with the dark one. A little bit goes a long way, so be careful. Now that we've done our blush, I'm going to finish off the rest of my eyes. So we're going to go in with smaller brushes. And the first brush, the first one I'm going to go in with is going to be the Daydream. I'm going to go in with Daydream. Then we're going to go in with half time. And then we are going to go in with haunted, but I'm going to concentrate this more on my lash line. Done that. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go with the mascara and the outside lashes. Now that we've finished with the under eye, now I'm going to go in with my lip liner and line my lips in glory. Now that I've lined my lips in glory, <coughs> There's a few lipsticks that I could choose from. Now I was thinking of doing like a liquid lipstick because I normally go with my Kiko, as you know, it's my favourite go-to. But I was thinking of going with more like a metallic lipstick lipstick. We've got this one. I'm not sure if it would be too loud with this look. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the shade. I'm just going to swatch it for you. It could go with this look and that's from Primark and I got that on sale, it was £2. Um, yeah, it's the shade, I've had this quite a while, it's the shade, it's rubbed off. Ah, sorry. 
Okay, then we've got the uh, Mega Matte Lips from W7. I think this is 2Bob. I mean, it's one of the shades that I really love using. It's a nude and swatch, it looks like that. So that could be another shade to wear as well. Then we have another PS lipstick from Primark. Um, I believe the shade is It Girl. Um, and it looks like that. And it swatches that color. Very nice, I could pick any of these. Then we have the another PS color in the shade Incognito, and I do like this shade. I've used it before in another look. It goes really, really well. It's beautiful. Like mauve, purpley. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So we have that shade. Then we have another shade, um, 07, and that's what it's called. I can't remember what brand it was, but I remember getting it from um, Amazon. I saw it um, and I thought, oof, that's a really, really nice color. So this is more of a pinky shade. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know where to go for the metallic or go for the this particular color right here, the shade right here. If it's too brown, I think it might clash with the look. I could go with this shade as well. Um, mm, I just don't know. Hmm, which one should I pick? I think I'm going to go for the metallic lips, which is this shade right here. So everybody, this is my final look. I did go in with the metallic lip uh, from Primark, which is this one, um, over my eye lip liner, Glory from Revolution. Um, yeah, so this is my final look. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. Um, it was interesting. This is a very different look for me. It's not something that I, I do. Um, the halo eye I struggle with because I'm just not that great at it but um, overall I think this look turned out really 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 nice um, I like it um, yeah so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you create it um, let me know what you think about it what, what you think if you've got the palette let me know what you think about it in the comment box what looks you what looks you've done with it um, yeah I mean I couldn't recommend it enough um, I think this is the I've got about four of these palettes when they came out um, I did a look last week using the um, celestial one I did a green eye look which was really came out really nice check out my Instagram it is a uh, Gracie Gray um, yeah I'll leave all the details of what I've used down in the description bar um, yeah let's get talking I, I'm rubbish at this outro bit it just doesn't work for me I'd rather just 
do a voiceover I'm really crap at talking at the same time so anyway I'm talking too much now so I'm gonna go um yeah if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe um, it really helps me out um, I love it when you give me thumbs up as well so that I know that this content that I'm creating people enjoy it and also um, don't forget to leave a comment I mean let's get chatting I'd like to get to know you guys a bit better hear your thoughts hear your opinions and on makeup basically because that's why we watch these channels because we like makeup so yeah without dragging it on too much thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>